For a long time, electricity has probably become indispensable to humans. Today I will share with you how I magically create permanent electricity. I will cut two circles from a sheet of Mika paper. Next I will make a round hole on it. Note, the diameter of the drill hole is 20 mm. Next I will use a small bearing with a diameter of 20 mm. This bearing we will install into the round plastic Mika that I have drilled holes in. I use special glue to fix the bearing to the mica. Next I will use a ruler and pen to draw on the mica. I used a round magnet with a diameter of 40 mm to draw on the mica. I have a symmetrical axis of rotation. I will use those round magnets to attach to both sides of the spindle. I still use special glue to fix the magnet to the mica. I continued drawing perpendicular lines on the remaining sheet of mica. I will attach magnets to those lines. Special glue is still true love, that's why I still use it. Note, please attach the magnets symmetrically. I will use a motor that uses magnets. It can generate electric current when it rotates. I will attach the plexiglass to the motor shaft. I used hot glue to attach the plexiglass to the shaft. Next, I used a piece of plastic pipe to make a base for the motor. Still have hot glue. I will use it to attach plastic tube to motor. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. To make sure there are no problems during operation, I will add a second layer of glue to it. I used a piece of wood to make a base for the machine. First, I will mount the motor to the wooden base. I would still use hot glue to attach it. I will try starting the engine manually. Next, I used the remaining sheet of mica and tested the principle of attraction and repulsion of the magnet. I will use a syringe to make a base for the spindle. Continue using the pen and ruler to mark the syringe. I used a drill to make two holes in the syringe. Use bolts and nuts to attach the mica shaft to the syringe post. Tighten the two nuts onto the bolts. Continue to firmly fasten the mica shaft to the nut.
Now I will attach the spindle legs to the wooden base. I still used hot glue to attach it most securely. Note, attach the magnets 10 mm apart on both sides. I use one transformer circuit and one socket. Continue using hot glue to attach the transformer circuit and socket to the wooden base. Now I will connect the transformer circuit to the socket. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. After connecting, I will cover the outlet. Note, install all screws into the socket. Next, I will connect the transformer circuit to the motor. I use tin to solder them. Once the machine is completed, we will test it together. I just use my hands to start the engine. It's amazing how the engine spins up. Next, I use the fan to check the motor current. Great, the fan is spinning and I'll add another light bulb. Luckily, everything I did paid off. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. Let's admire the results of my work. If you like this idea, 
Don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.